Welcome everybody. My name is Jared Banworth. I am the Education and Training Manager here at PCCA. I'm one of your instructors, along with Annie Dries, who is the Training Specialist here at PCCA, and obviously one of the instructors. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. We are so excited to share with you the industry's leading newly engineered training lab here at PCCA really setting the standards and training so that you can come in and get an education so that when you go home, you have the practical tools and knowledge to start compounding in your own pharmacy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you a sneak peek here in our lab. Um, we are now in the Learning Center. This is where you would learn all the um, didactic book work stuff from our experts um, in the training team as well as from the consulting department. And then once you get that valuable information, then you're gonna take it and you're gonna go apply it in lab. And um, Annie, who is our training specialist, does all of our lab uh, instructing and she does an incredible job in ensuring that you feel really confident when you, you get done compounding. So, our classes are USP, implementation which is brand new and we're really excited for so if you're really wanting to know how to implement not only the standards in compounding but also the best practices and other regulatory considerations that it's all around us these days that's the class for you if you're new to compounding or maybe you need to brush up a little or gee I haven't been to a compounding training in five six seven eight nine years I wonder what's changed a lot has so if you if that's one of you come to core core is our new compounding training course and all of these courses are going to happen right here inside our new lab so let's, get, let's started. get started first everyone will come in to this area which is our hazardous or, or non-sterile gowning area uh, one of the uh, proposed standards for USP 795 and really a best practice is wash your hands before you start compounding. So we have uh, some really nice sinks so a whole bunch of us can get in here, start washing our hands, and then come in and depending if you're going to be doing hazardous or non-hazardous compounding, you will need to choose the appropriate PPEs to carve up to go into the designated area for your type of compound. Um, so once that is done, you will be instructed if you're gonna be doing a hazardous drug or a non-hazardous drug. And just like in your pharmacy, you would have to come in and look at, okay, where do I need to go? Do I need to go in the non-hazardous compounding area or do I need to go in the hazardous? And are my uh, environmental in, uh, engineering controls appropriate? So. Let's go with it this way. So once you're inside the compounding lab, you may notice that it's divided to where you, we will have segregated areas for hazardous compounding and non-hazardous compounding. And in this area, there's a total of 56 stations. Each student will get their own station. Not only do they get their own station, but they get their own station that has been set up to the best practices in compounding. You will get to learn how to appropriately compound in a new air powder containment hood. How exciting, very exciting, because you know, there's a whole lot to be able to remember and understand why you're doing what you're doing and why you should be doing it that way. So in this uh, particular station, everyone will have their power containment hood. They will have an integrated balance along with integrated software of RxD, which is the industry leading compounding software. What a great quality control tool to be able to use right when you're getting to learn how to compound um, and know how to use it appropriately when you're working staging in your chemicals, working and weighing them, getting the information into your computer all safely and without doing any cross-contamination within your compounding area as well as outside, right? 
Okay, so we got some really cool stuff here. What else do we have here? Fully decked out, complete with um, glassware, chemicals that you'll be using, um, everything that you'll be needing as liquids to compound all the different fabulous dosage forms that Annie has waiting for you. Uh, we also have equipment down here so you can do capsules and learn how to stage in and out equipment into your uh, powder containment hood environment appropriately. And Annie's going to show you how to do all of that. Not only does your station come with great technology integration with RxD, but as a student you're going to have an incredible experience because Annie, our training specialist, will be able, to, you'll be able to see her right here from the comfort of your own training station. So when she, when she starts talking and showing everyone how to do that, she will magically appear on your screen and you will be able to sit here or stand, <laughs> actually stand, and you will be able to see her teaching you all the different tips and techniques uh, on how to compound right at the same kind of hood that you'll be operating in. So that's going to be really super cool. The uh, other thing is, is we, I know we've been talking about non-sterile compounding. We also teach sterile compounding, and this particular area gets double used uh, for that powder containment area for uh, sterile compounding. So when you come in to do sterile compounding, this will be the area that you will weigh out the uh, non-sterile powders and get prepped to go into our sterile gowning room and hand washing area and then learn how to stage and go into the buffer room that has all of its own um, hoods as well. So more to come on that hopefully in another Facebook Live opportunity. But as, as you're learning, you will also get to experience our virtual whiteboard where our instructor can show you how to do different types of calculations or encourage you to come and see her new lab um, right there so you don't have to do what we used to have to do, kind of gather all around, huddle around, and those that are, you know, height challenge may not get the best viewing opportunity. Now you get a complete viewing opportunity all in, in one space. So, so with that being said, I know Annie has a lot of uh, different types of dosage forms that she would love to share with everyone on what they might be seeing and core and or UST implementation. That's right. So on the um, clinical side, you'll hear talks from people like Chris Simmons on veterinary use or Bo from our clinical services team on dermatolo dermatology. And as Jared previously mentioned, the things that you learn in lab or in clinicals, you'll come in and we'll make a dermatological preparation. We'll make a couple of that, um, products. So some of the experiences that you will have is you will make a trochee. This is our natto trochee um, base that you get to experience and our 30 count trochee mold. So also, um, I was a sloppy compounder back in the 80s and I didn't use a thermometer back when I should be. So we're going to implement some of those best practices back into the lab by making sure that we're monitoring and working on the formula and, and uh, compounding per formula so that we know that we are delivering what the patient is expecting to get and we're not harming the base and or any active pharmaceutical ingredient that we might be putting in these. Same thing with lollipops. We will be using um, our uh, thermometers with that as well. This is a rectal rocket. We like to have fun here at PCCA and so we encourage you to be artistic um, in your um, compounding of it and then we hold a little competition and we, we uh, award um, the top three winners as voted by you, um, the peers. And um, so it's a lot of fun. We talked about topicals and we talked about um, 
Other clinical topics such as uh, pain, so we will be doing a little bit of a, a transdermal preparation where it requires an EMP, electric mortar and pestle, um, also the uh, ointment mill, and so this is a setup for that and learn how to use um, two pieces of uh, the ungoiter, also known as electric mortar and pestle, uh, two different models. So some of you may have an older model and some of you may have the brand newer or newer model. This is a mega pump that we will put some of our products in. It's a great little UV protected device that um, we can put. You're gonna be making a, a methyl B12 in our Zima top base. So if you've got personal issue with rosacea or mild eczema, you'll have something that um, you can take home and use. I firmly believe that we try to give you things that you can, can use. Um, and I also hear that we might be doing a, a formulation for hand sanitizers. Yes, we are. We're excited. That will be everyone's first uh, compound. So if you register only for USP implementation, you're still going to make it. Same thing with Core. You'll make it in there. And then um, we, you will be making that um, so um, that it, you feel secure about being here in the building. Now let's talk about COVID and, and what is PCCA doing to make you feel secure? That's really a great, great question. Um, I ask it every day. What am I doing to make myself healthy? Well, we have N95 masks for you. So everyone will be wearing this inside the lab. And then everyone will have on, as she indicated earlier, your proper garb and hair bonnet. Men, if you have a beard, you'll be wearing that as well. And then booties for the USP um, 800 side. And then of course our gloves. You'll be alcoholing off your gloves in between compounds or maybe even changing them out depending upon which side of the lab you're on. Um, and at the end of the day, two things will happen. Once you exit the lab for the very last time, we're going to pass out a disinfectant. And our ask is, is to take paper towels and disinfect the exterior of the countertops and outside the hood. Um, and then you will already have cleaned with isopropyl alcohol inside the hood for that. In addition, in the Learning Center, before you exit and catch the bus back to the hotel, we're going to give you um, another disinfectant and have you wipe down your area there just to reassure you that, yes, I am in a safe environment because, you know, I'd love to compound, but I don't want to get COVID. Well, and as I mentioned before, we have 56 stations here, uh, so we can social distance appropriately. We can only take 36 students per class. So. If this is something you really are wanting to do, highly recommend register now so you can be one of, one of the first 36 and not have to wait till our, our, our next course. So, now I, you did mention some uh, equipment, Annie. Yes. Would you like to kind of just highlight sure. real quickly All right. the different kinds of equipment that uh, students will get to see? This right here it looks like a spaceship. It's the unguator, we all call it like EMP or electronic mortar and pestle. This is the model that is currently being sold. Some of you may have this older model, so we have this as well. We have um, eight units, four on each side, and then also in between them, we have the ointment mills. We may remember that the mills simply just uh, reduce particle size and you still have to remix appropriately after you pull your product off of that. Um, if you have any questions on how to use, we're here to teach that. If you have a desire to learn how to clean it, I'm gonna hand you a rag and some alcohol, alcohol and teach you how to do that. So it's very easy. And then around on the flip side, we have our tube sealers. So some of our uh, formulations require uh, to be filled and then to be sealed. And so it simply has a cooling and heating function all under pressure, and then um, you're ready to go. So we have all the equipment necessary. Um, we have a pH meter. If you take my advanced class, we'll be making a vet shampoo and be using a pH meter to check that final pH with. We also have a nasonab um, demonstration for the advanced compounding workshop as well. So lots of little things, lots of little opportunities um, in both courses. So I, I like to hope we can see you all there. That's a really great point. If you are really interested to register for this, the Facebook page um, will have a link to register for USP implementation as well as CORE. So I encourage you to go take a peek at that and get a little more information. There's a whole document and everything that you can really dive in deep to see kind of the specifics that we'll be teaching. So thank you so much for your time. We are very excited to share this experience with you. So you can come and see all of our lab, 
whether whether you're on this side or that side, or even if you want to come and uh, experience our sterile course, go ahead and log on to the PCCA website to go see the whole list of our courses, both virtually and live. But register for those live classes so you can experience our re-engineered lab, and we really can't wait to see you.